welcome back to my channel. My name is Sienna Beauty. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if not, well, welcome back. <laughs> so, I have not filmed in, I think, like three months. And oh my god, has it been a crazy quarter. As you guys may know, I'm in college. So it's kind of hard to keep up with YouTube and college stuff and you know it's crazy i also have a job on top of all that so i just haven't really had time to film and now that it's summer i have all this free time and i'm so excited because i'm gonna try and start making all these videos and just have a great summer so yeah um i went to ulta yesterday and i got some products i'm gonna be filming another video that's gonna be reviewing the warrior palette by H huvius Previous place, but I'm really excited to test this one out. I'm gonna be filming this right after this video. I'm so excited, I haven't even played with it yet. Ugh! What the hell is that? But this video, I'm gonna be testing out some super blenders. <laughs> Why are they called super blenders? What? <laughs> I'm gonna be testing out some beauty blenders from Ulta. I've been really wanting to test out the little baby mini ones because they're so they're so cute, and I just want to. Ah! And I'm tired of like using my fingers around this area and I think it'd be really helpful if I used little baby ones and I was just gonna buy a, a pack of like the little guys, but I found this I'll show you guys But I found this pack here comes with five different beauty blenders and they're all different shapes and sizes and colors and cool stuff Yeah, but this one looks just like the real beauty blender. I'll open the package so there's no glare but then there's like this weird shape. I don't know what that one's for. Um, there's these little baby guys. I'm so excited. And then there's this orange guy. And then lately I've been using these beauty blender thingies. I am sorry, they're kind of dirty. Sonia Kashuk, I think. These are okay. They're not my favorite, I'll be honest. They're eh. But I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna be reviewing. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Why can't I? Mm. I'm gonna be reviewing these and I'm also gonna be putting foundation on so it's gonna be kind of a beauty blender review as well as a foundation routine tutorial um, and more importantly we're gonna be testing out the little baby guys because I've never tested them out and I am so excited <laughs> why am I so hyper I don't know I got this espresso machine so I've been drinking a lot of coffee recently all right well without further ado let's just start this because I'm so excited okay let's go <laughs> all right so I'm gonna be opening up this container. I swear, this is the death of me. I can never open things. Oh, oh, oh no, it's stuck. Oh, ah! oh, oh, they're so soft. They smell like erasers. It also says that they're latex free. So if you have an allergy to that, these are great, but they're latex free and hyperallergenic. Multiple shapes and sizes to meet all your blending needs. Use dry sponge for full coverage, damp sponge for sheer. All right, well, the only concern or like complaint I have is they don't tell you exactly which beauty blender is used for what. Someone like me who like kind of gets makeup and stuff, I can see someone who has no idea what, like this one, like what? <laughs> I honestly, I don't even know what I'm supposed to use this for, like maybe? I don't know. But the little babies. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna use them wet today because I don't want to use them freshly from the factory on my face because they might have like chemicals or like icky stuff. So I'm gonna like quickly wash these so they'll be damp, but I'm gonna be using them damp today. And honestly, I've been using my beauty blender as damp anyways. I feel like it just, I know like dry, it's supposed to be more full cover, dry, it's supposed to be more full coverage, but I honestly feel like if it's wet, it blends it better and I don't know. Just don't make, make sure it's not too wet. Because I have had it when it's the beauty blender has been too wet. It gets it makes the foundation all cakey. So don't do that. Make sure it's like really ringed out and stuff. But anyways, I'm going to go wash these real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So they obviously expanded. They don't even fit in the package anymore. Little baby guys didn't expand all that much. All right, so now comes the point where I have to decide which one I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to go with the typical beauty blender shape. I don't know. I just feel like... It'll be the best. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so now I'm going to be priming my face. I'm going to go in with the Coors Greek Yogurt Smoothie Priming Moisturizer Base Hydrator, whatever thingy. And we'll zoom you guys in too. I'm just going to put this all over my face. I could use the Beauty Blender, but I'm kind of lazy, guys. <laughs> so this is just going to give our skin some hydration and it's going to give us a good base to put our foundation on. And then today we're going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, 24 hour foundation. This is the demi matte finish. 
whatever. Uh, and this is the 101 Classic Ivory because I am pale AF. All right, so I just shook this bottle up a bit and you could put this on something. Um, I don't really have a something, so I'm gonna use the back of my hand. Just be careful because um, sometimes foundations are really runny and they will run off your hand. Um, oh, I think we're good, okay. All right, and now we're just gonna start blending. All right, so I've just done this one side. Obviously, I'm gonna go back and get some more in there, but so far I like it. Um, it's been doing its job. I know beauty blenders are known for soaking up a lot of the foundation, and I have noticed that it did use up a lot of the foundation. That's just the compromise you have to make with beauty blenders, is that they're gonna soak up most of your foundation. Um, if you wanna avoid that, use a brush or your hands. But I just, I've always just liked these a lot better for some reason. They just, I feel like they give me a nice smooth foundation. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go in with some more foundation. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face and then we'll come back and do the little babies. <laughs> so for concealer today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline uh, Age Instant or whatever. I can never say this one. It's literally my favorite concealer. Um, but it, it's like supposed to erase your dark circle. Oh, I dropped it! Insert all the clips that I've dropped things on this channel. Jeez. Anyways, I'm just gonna be going in and putting concealer on now. What? <laughs> you might be thinking, why not just use the applicator? I could, but I don't want to. I feel like it wouldn't really work because there's already product on the applicator. I don't know. And you want to do sort of like an upside down triangle. If you can kind of tell. All right, and then I'm also gonna put this on my um, eyelids. All right, and now the moment of truth. I'm gonna use a little baby guy, and we're just gonna dab it in. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god. It's just so cute. It's like a little foamy piece. I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm in love. <laughs> So I actually really enjoyed this more than just using my fingers because it's kind of sticky right now. I feel like that would just take it off where this actually you're able to like press it in. Um, also, you could go around your nose. I know this is kind of a hard area to get to sometimes like around your nose thingy. What is this called? Your nostrils, duh. Guys, I'm obviously in college, right? I actually highly enjoyed this product, this little baby guy. I mean, obviously you can just use your fingers, but if you have a couple bucks to spend and just treat yourself, get your little, little foamy guys, little foamy babies. All right guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you enjoyed about this video or just let me, or just say hi. <laughs> I'll try and say hi back. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and check out my other videos on my channel and as well as the new eyeshadow uh, video of me doing the Warrior Palette. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure and subscribe and I will see you all later. Bye.